Hi, I'm Jeff Johnson. This is the Biological Oceanography and uh, in other laboratories teaching classroom. We call it the wet classroom. We're here today demonstrating some of the principles of biological oceanography, the study of pigments and phytoplankton, as well as principles of physical and uh, chemical oceanography. This is about the carbon cycle. And this is just showing the whole role that phytoplankton play in the ocean and the whole food cycle. They're very tiny. They feed things like zooplankton, which is like that little crab thing we saw in there. Right. They eat those and they become food for other things. So this is, this is probably a schematic of krill. Krill are those big balls of little shrimpy things that whales eat. That is so cool. Look and at the energy. And so this is about the carbon cycle and other things that are going on in the ocean. This is kind of a benchtop demonstration of how you separate pigments, in this case from a black marker using just plain water, but how you separate pigments within a sample which is apparently one color, here black, uh, and in fact it's composed of many colors. If you look at the separation of the colors uh, running up a paper towel. So that's just kind of a simple version of how we separate colors that come out of phytoplankton. That is really interesting. So this is a very simple demonstration of a principle that underlies identification of phytoplankton in complex samples that we get out of the ocean. That's harbor water. If you look at it really closely, it's made up of little green balls. These are all phytoplankton. So the green is from chlorophyll. So what does that mean? If something has chlorophyll in it, what is it? It's a plant, right? So the reason we call them phytoplankton, phyto means plant in Greek. So it means they're plants, and plankton means they float around in the water. These are all phytoplankton. Diatoms make little hard shells, and I'll show you a picture of some of the shells. They're really beautiful. Why is some of them like Because they're all different species. So if you think about us, we're one species. You think about chimpanzees, they're another species. If you analyze their DNA, they're very different. Um, so they, they kind of look the same, but you can see that they're different. They look like shells, kind of. They are. It's made out of silica, like glass. That's an individual one. This is wow. how intricate these things are. Is there any more? Um, you can scroll through as many as you want. Oh, There's some that. more. Oh, I see that. That is so pretty. It almost like jewels, huh? So as it turns out, phytoplankton are composed of many, many species. They all have their own characteristic kinds of photosynthetic pigments. The one we're familiar with is chlorophyll. There are many other kinds. This principle is what underlies how we identify those pigments in an environmental sample and understand through identification of pigments who is there, which phytoplankton. Uh, phytoplankton include um, all of the photosynthetic, microscopic plants in the ocean, which among other things generate about 50% of the oxygen we breathe. If you look at their role in feeding things and absorbing carbon dioxide, they do some really important things for us. So it's also very important to understand what the phytoplankton are doing when we're dumping all of our carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. They're viewed as a potential major source for absorbing carbon dioxide. So one of the things the Chemical Oceanography Lab worries about here is what controls phytoplankton growth. So Kent can tell you about his research was about, among other things, fertilizing the ocean with iron to promote growth of phytoplankton to absorb carbon dioxide. Wow. Yeah. So it's important to take care of the phytoplankton. We don't want to kill them. That's right. It would be a bad thing. It's important to understand where they are, what they're doing, how they grow, when they grow. Pigment analysis is one very basic technique we use to understand that whole set of questions.